Uh, hi everyone, uh, and welcome back to uh, this series of practice circuit problems. Uh, in this question, we're talking about the energy stored in the capacitor in the circuit that has either capacitors or inductor or both. Uh, so this question says that if the total energy stored in this circuit is 80 millijoule, so the total amount of energy that's stored in this circuit is 8 millijoule. So all components that can store energy like the inductors and the capacitors are together storing this amount of energy. What will be the value of L? So L is the only unknown in this in this type of question. So how to deal with a question about energy storage? So basically, as uh, we know that the energy stored in the capacitor is equal to one half CV squared. C is the capacitance, V is the voltage across the capacitor, and the energy, the inductor is one half L I squared. L is the inductance and I the current that goes through the through through the, the inductor. Okay, so how we approach the problem? Uh, this problem, you need to solve it, assuming that both the capacitor and the inductors are fully charged. So what if they are fully charged? If they are fully charged, the capacitor will be changing into an open circuit and the inductor will be changing into a short, short circuit. So we need to redraw the circuit assuming it is fully charged, replace any capacitor in the circuit with an open circuit, any inductor in the circuit with a short circuit. Then find the voltages across all capacitors and the current across all inductors, and then apply the energy, energy formula. So that's how we approach a question about the energy stored in a capacitor and inductor. So let me draw now the circuit. So the current source, nothing will happen to it. It's one amp. Then the resistance, this is normal. Nothing will happen to it, stays as it is. Then here we have the capacitor. The capacitor will be an open circuit. And I will call it VC for voltage across the capacitor. Now the inductor will be a short circuit. And I will have I L, and then we will have here the 50 ohm resistance. So now my problem start to become change a little bit now, and I want to find V C and I L. That is my focus now in this question. Okay. So we have a current source, and in this current source, you can see there are two resistors in parallel, the 200 ohm and the 50 ohm. So how to find IL? Very simple. We will use uh, current dividing rules. Okay, so this current, uh, the current will become here and it will be divided between the two resistors. So your IL is equal to the main current, which is the one amp, times the other resistance, which is the 200, divided by 200 plus 50. Uh, and this is something that you will notice these type of questions because the inductor changed to a short circuit, capacitor changed to open circuit. Usually the circuit becomes simpler, much easier to analyze. Okay, so this is equal to 0.8 amp. So we found IL. Now we need to find VC. VC is the voltage between this point and this point, which is basically the voltage across the 50 the 50 ohm so the vc will equal to il which is the point 8 times the resistance which is 50 and this will give me 40 40 volt so we are done with the first thing which is finding your vc and your il now everything here we know it except l wc plus wl because we have only two storage elements is equal to 80 millijoule. So what is WC? It is one half times C. C is 80. I always uh, microfarad. I always like to write everything in SI units. So this becomes 80 
times 10 to minus to minus 6. So convert everything to Farad so that you will not be confused when there is any unit conversion. Times Vc square, which is 40 square. Plus WL one half. This is L, our unknown, and the current is equal to 0.8 square. Now the summation of these two is equal to 80 times 10 to minus 3. Again, make everything in joules. So now all the units are, are matching. Okay. So uh, what we will have here, we will have this will become 40. Then you will have this as 60. 4 times 10 to minus 3 plus 1 half times 0.8 square, which is 0.32L is equal to 80 times 10 to minus 3. Now become very straightforward. 0.32L will equal to 80 times 10 to minus 3 minus 64 times 10 to minus 3, and this is equal to 16 times 10 to minus 3. So your L is equal to 16 times 10 to minus 3 divided by 0.32, and this equal to 50 times 10 to minus 3, or equal to 50 milli milli -henary. So it's a very straightforward problem. Once you analyze it to small pieces, you need to find ILVC first. You need to find the energy, energy stored in the capacitor, the energy stored in the inductor, and then see what, what is required in the question. So here, the requirement was what is L so that the total energy stored is equal to 880 milli, millijoule.